Hi, this is Dominic from Pethos Life and I'm doing part three of our tour around Old Town. I'm starting back by the mosque as you just saw and today we're heading without walking into anyone up here towards Cloaca. Now, there's been a couple of uh, kebab joints I've reviewed in the past up here. It'll be interesting to see what they're like now. But first of all, I'll turn around, not really to show you the car park, but to show you this nice advert for the tyre company we've got here. I like it when they combine my love of murals with their love of advertising works well now these buildings here have been hugely improved on the outside set bamboo spa not sure what that is Now I'm not sure whether, ah oh, yes, that's closed at the moment because it's, it's only 10 o'clock but that is a very nice place to get kebabs from, as is this one. They both serve delicious food. It's a very colourful area now. Oh, I just walked into a bollard. <laughs> Look where I'm going. And if you can read Greek, the sign will tell you all about it. Excuse me for a little transition there. I had to turn the screen display on the rear view on. It's rather silly, I'd turned the front one on instead, which isn't much use when you use the camera like this. Now, this Chirito place, there used to be, for so without hitting any more bollards, a little alleyway down here which led to some more cafes and they had some nice murals on. And it's been completely renovated now, so I have no idea what it's like. Interesting view up there, you can see it. I think this might still be a work in progress. Because it doesn't really look like it's uh, currently in open for business. <laughs> but it's coming on. Oh, this is the uh, old, can we call it antiques or junk? Don't even know if it's still open. That place obviously is. Oh, you can see that mural up there. Can't remember what it's called, but it was another one of the uh, Street Art Square exhi exhibitions they had quite a while ago now, about eight years ago they started and they had three of them
it's quite warm it's october the second only 10 o'clock and i have to say i'm sweating a bit yesterday peed down the rain lots of thunder and lightning well, i don't know about papos but it certainly did up in Pelemi. right here is the uh, final part and most bizarre part of the uh a Rudolf Nusa story that's depicted in cinematography for that old town. The king is burying, I think it's, actually I think this is the queen getting punished for killing the king's mistress. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I think the king should have been punished for not being able to keep it in control. But it's a very, very bizarre work of art. And all the better for it. There's a building there, it's still getting done up. I do love these old doors. I must have so many stories to tell. And they're going to come to this junction here and take the sharp right stay in Old Town and try not to get one over or walk into any more bollards I've always been fascinated by this building here because it looks quite messy, but it also looks very grand, as if it had uh, more of a significant role in the past. Obviously they haven't done any renovation work on it yet, but I'm sure when they do it's going to look very special. I guess this part of Old Town will give you an idea of what it used to all look like. They haven't done this bit yet. It's another old door. I'm not sure you'll see it properly in the light. But Now as we get to a renovated section again, you'll see that the uh, cafe, bars and restaurants start appearing. Here's one. Smoke clock. It also smells very nice. Adele Boutique. Oh, that smells gorgeous, that one. B Hostel. Oh, people are asking about that. Where that is. If you're here on a budget. I have no idea what it's like. It's not a recommendation. I'm just telling you it's there. Burger Stories. I've heard good things about that before. another view of the mosque coffee to foity now down here is my favorite hardware store just because of the way they make the frontage look
It's interesting to see that the balconies here have all been renovated because that was a big issue a year ago when in another part of Old Town they started collapsing which nobody wants to see but look at this store here isn't it magnificent now see if I can cross the road and pan out to get a better look at it bear with me do this without getting one over Ooh. There we go. That's where you come if you want to buy a barbecue or bucket. And the other stuff as well. Now, we're leaving the main road because we t uh, covered all that in part two. We're now going into the newly renovated car park and bus station. So I thought it about time we looked at the new bus station to see if it's open. It only looks like it is because there's lots of buses there. If you don't know how parking in work uh, in Paphos works these days, first of all you find a spot like this one and you have a look at the number on it. In that case, 1840. And you either pay by texting 9191 and the lot number or using the smart parking application. And that's the one I use, the smart parking application. Because with that, you can top up easily if you need more time, etc. But it's all done like that now. There aren't any parking meters anymore. And if it sounds complicated, it really isn't. And don't think you can just not bother because they do have traffic wardens these days. They go around on motor uh, scooters, so even if you can't see one, I think it could be lurking. And it's like one or two euros in general for a ticket so it's not worth the risk right there. yes the bar the bus station is definitely working have a brief look around it without being too nosy shops and the cafe that was up there is still up there and going strong there's the theatre uh, something I remember what it's called Marcadeo or something like that I think we'll, I'll end this film by wandering up to the front of that because it's rather nice There's the bus station. Boy, it is very warm now. And we'll cross over. Definitely avoiding getting hit by buses. Oh, we've got a charging point for electric cars there. It's not something you see very often in Cyprus. Well, there's a zebra crossing and someone's actually waiting for me to cross it. Be rude not to now, wouldn't it? I'm walking up to the theatre now. Nice and cool in here. 
and through this little hole if you look carefully you can see a yellow building uh, on the other side of the road just where that car's going now and that's pumpkin house let's see if I can get into the front of the theatre <laughs> so that was part three and in part four we'll go and say hello to Evie and cover the remaining part of Old Town between here and Kennedy Square. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.